some hand. That's important. We're gonna need good old American slice cheese. We're gonna need some eggs. All right, let's get that. Wait. The fridge cam? That's where this camera was. Folks, welcome back to another Newbie Views. Today, we're gonna be hacking the McDonald's English muffin. We're gonna make it bigger, better, better and tastier. <clears throat> better and tastier than Mickey D's. And it starts off with English muffins. Not just any English muffin, but a toasted English muffin. Let's get started. First, we'll need eggs, cheese, American processed cheese, and some ham. Let's go get it. First, we're gonna have to need some ham. That's important. We're gonna need good old American slice cheese. We're gonna need some eggs. All right, let's get that. Wait. The fridge cam. All right, to start off, let's grab an English muffin. There's that ASMR moment. English muffin, done. Let's cut it open. Now, do you guys cut this open? Or do you actually just tear it and rip it apart with your fingers to get more crevices? Look at all those nooks and crannies in an English muffin. That's where the flavor's gonna come from once we toast it up. Now, our secret is to grab butter and we're gonna lightly butter. Okay, who am I kidding? We're gonna heavily butter our English muffin and then we're gonna toast it. Cause when the butter gets melted and it gets toasted, it's gonna add some unami. That's right, some flavor. We're taking this down to Flavorville, people. All right, that goes in the toaster. Let's get it over there. All right, let's get this toasted up. All right, for our second ingredient, we're definitely gonna need some cheese to finish that off, American cheese. And we're gonna heat up some ham. This isn't just American cheese. This is thick. So thick cheese, not just one piece of ham, several pieces of ham. And we're gonna fry them up good. Ham, ham, cheese. And last thing we're gonna need is an egg. Whoa! Did you see the size of this chunky? Let's use this farm fresh egg. We've got this super tiny, tiny one egger, which should make a very good sized round egg for our Egg McMuffin knockoff. I mean, who doesn't love Mr. Penguin? I mean, who doesn't love Eggy? Eggy looks amazing. All right, let's get that set up. All right, guys, let's get our egg cooking. We drop eggy onto the stove, add a bit of butter. Grab an egg, crack the egg on a surface, and when it's starting to steam up a bit, drop your egg gently so. Now the secret to their eggs at McDonald's, of course, is the fact that they actually have a contraption. And what we're gonna do, Guys, the other camera just went off. I don't have any batteries left. So let's have a quick leg it 
let's have a quick look at Eggy and how our egg is doing. It's steaming away and cooking quite nicely. We're going to grab that out. Look how perfect and round that egg is. All right, guys, I flipped the egg. The egg looks phenomenally good. Let's drop some ham into the frying pan. Okay guys, look at that. Let's get that assembled right now. All right guys, so here we go. First, we don't forget, we need the cheese. Grab our cheese. Let's get our freshly toasted, ah oh, crap. Get our English muffin out, ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, that looks fantastic. Look how toasted. Oh, that's buttery. Let's grab our cheese. McDonald's, take a look. Now that's cheese. And we top it off. And we top it off with some ham. We'll top it off with our egg. And we finish it off with two more pieces. Folks, does this look like a McDonald's English muffin? I don't think so. This is elevated. Let's take a bite. Let's get another bite. Oh, this is so much better. Can you hear the crunch of the English muffin? Folks, that's been the hack of the McDonald's English muffin. Go ahead, recreate it. Don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications for our next video. Until then, happy cooking.